And I give the call to the honourable member for Ryan. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Environment Minister. Minister, how do you justify approving more coal and gas? Here, here. Order. Members on my left, the member for Fisher. O order. Members on my left, the minister has the call. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, it's very similar to the question I was asked on Monday this week and last week and the week before. And I say to the member for Ryan, once again, no government has done more to transition this nation to renewable energy than our government, than the Albanese Labor government. And I say also to the member for Ryan that it is only this government that has legislated a pathway to Order. net zero, that has legislated an, an, an interim emissions reduction target of 43 per cent. It is only this side of the chamber that has delivered a plan to get to 82 per cent renewable energy. And in my own portfolio, I have doubled the rate of approvals of renewable energy projects yeah. since we came to government. Yeah. More Order. transmission lines, Order. more the solar, minister, more wind, the minister offshore... Will, minister uh, will pause for just a moment. And I'll hear from the leader of the Australian Greens. Thank you, Speaker. Just on relevance, it was very short question, no preamble or suffix, and it was about approval of coal and gas, and the minister a minute in has not mentioned that once. That's, it's hard to imagine a can more concise. I think in any one's term that you, you would describe that as a very broad question. The minister was asked about approvals. She is being relevant. She's one minute into the question, and I will ensure that she stays. Order, member for McEwen. The minister has the call, and shall continue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I might remember. I, I might remind those uh, the member for Ryan and. Um, and the other members of the Greens political party. I am the first environment minister ever to refuse a coal mine, and I was able to do that because the law Order. allowed Order. me to do that because of the risk to the Great Barrier Reef yeah. Marine Park. I, think that might be uh, I judge Order. every project according to the law, and nice. I judge every project according to the law. But the important thing to remember here is this government is determined to achieve net zero carbon emissions for Australia. We're determined to get to 82 per cent renewable energy. The approvals that I'm making for renewable energy, including working with the Minister for Climate Change and Energy on massive offshore wind farms around the coast of Australia, uh, that's what will help us get to net zero. That's what will help us get to 82 per cent renewable energy. I might remind those uh, um, members uh, asking questions today as well that we have legislated a safeguard mechanism to deal with these large projects, a safeguard mechanism that you signed on to, that you voted for. So uh, um, I, just, yeah, I just want to uh, say, Mr Speaker, that uh, this government Members on is my determined left have ceased to, to ensure that Australia is on a pathway to net zero. Um, the Greens have teamed up with the Liberals before to block action on climate right. change. We're all about delivery. Uh, we're, about, we're about the hard slog of government, not the slogans of opposition. 